Thermally modified wood is a natural wood product. It is wood subjected to high heat and a little bit of steam and that's it. No chemicals have been used in the production of thermally modified wood. And because it works across a lot of different species, oftentimes species that are indigenous to a certain region can be used, can be thermally modified and given new life, given new utility. We have an abundance of white pine here in northern Minnesota. White pine is a fantastic species that can be modified. Heat and steam and all of a sudden, it can be used outdoors. It can be expected to last upwards of 20 plus years without any chemicals making that happen. And we see that across a range of hardwood species and a range of softwood species. In many cases for wood to be used outdoors, it has to come from certain regions. For example, exotic hardwoods that grow in rainforests just so happen to be really good building materials to be used outdoors. Not everybody wants to know that their deck was sourced from wood harvested from a beautiful rainforest. Other woods, like pressure-treated lumber, for example, are using copper and arsenic. Those are chemicals that can leach back into the ground. Not everybody wants their children playing on a deck that is only being preserved because of the chemicals that are impregnated in it. And that's where thermally modified wood really comes into play, is that it can be produced domestically, it can be produced locally. The carbon footprint to both produce and deliver can be very, very small. There are projects that we have worked on that required wood to be harvested within a 50 mile radius of the build site. And we were able to do that, modify that, and provide wood for them that will last for decades.